right y'all so i have another nail video for y'all today i'll be doing these light pink and snakeskin nails which are so bomb to me so today i'll be using the sugar and cream acrylic along with the mia secret clear acrylic i picked up sugar cookie and cupcake and right here you just see me trying to figure out which combination that i want to use but eventually I ended up going with the pink and the black and white or gray and white uh, snake skin print the first swatch was cupcake and now I'm going to go ahead and swatch a sugar cookie which is so cute I did get another one the other acrylic that I purchased was me and you and of course I have the links in the description and the foils came from Amazon I'll link them in the description as well all right so I already applied my nail tips off camera and cut them into the shape that I want here you just see me applying the Mia Secret Nail Prep Dehydrator along with the Mia Secret Primer that I always use. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer of clear acrylic to each nail. I like to apply a thin layer of clear acrylic just because when I'm ready to change out my design, I don't have to sit there and do a full soak off. I can just drill down whatever polish or design that I put on the nail, drill that off down to the clear acrylic, and then I can start over with a new design or new color without, like I said, having to do that full soak off. Now, sometimes I still do a full soak off, like if I wanna change the nail style entirely. Let's just say I have a stiletto nail and I want a square nail or I want a coffin shape. Um, with the coffin shape, you can just uh, file the tip of the stiletto nail, but if I want a square nail, I have to start all the way over. So sometimes I'll do it and I still do a soak off but in this case I know that I'm gonna do some nail extensions so I'm just gonna apply this clear acrylic and when I'm done with this design I'll you know buff that off I'm sorry I'll drill that off and then I'll just do some extensions Now I'm going to take this McCart Nail Art Foil Glue and apply it to the areas that I'm going to apply this snakeskin foil. Now with this nail uh, glue, you do want to apply it and I like to cure it for two minutes under my LED lamp. And um, you really have to go over it and press it and go over it. And you can kind of see it release from the nail form. Now granted, this was my first time using nail forms. So girl, I had a lot of hiccups, but I digress. It came out really good, but I do know for the future that after I apply it, I'm gonna cure it again 
because um, as you'll see later in the video, when I started to do my top coat over this, it kind of made the foil move around. So just FYI, when you apply, cure it again. Okay, now that I have the snake skin foil where I want it to be, I think it did come out pretty cute. I'm going to go ahead and apply the cupcake acrylic from the sugar and cream line. And I'm doing this on the fingers that I want the ombre on. And that's this finger and then of course the ones where I did the half snake skin. And I'm applying the cupcake acrylic in a thin layer as well. I really just apply this for the color. I'm gonna use the clear acrylic to build up my apex. Now here I'm just breaking down the foil, the uh, silver tin foil, because it comes like in a little balled up piece. It is really soft and easy to break up. I'm just gonna apply that to the um, ring finger. And I like to use a thin layer of clear acrylic as the, the uh, adhesion or to make it stick. And while I'm doing this ombre, I just wanted to jump on here really quick and tell you guys that doing voiceovers are extremely hard for me. It's like, I don't be knowing what to say. I always have to go back, delete something, accept something. And, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting me on my channel. Um, doing my own nails can take forever and I do make a mess sometimes but uh, I think that if you have the appropriate skills that anybody can do nails just watch some YouTube videos uh, start here though Fab Gun Beauty of course All right, y'all, so I'm done with the acrylic process. These nails came out so freaking fire. Like, I'm so happy with the results. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead with my Beauty Secrets nail file. I believe this was the 100-100 grid from Sally Beauty. These are my favorite nail files. And this is a coarse file. And I'm just regaining any shape that I may have lost during the acrylic application. And if you guys look closely, you can kind of see, like I was saying at first, where the foil kind of moved when I put the acrylic on top. So the clear acrylic on top. So make sure that you guys cure your foil again after you apply it. Okay, so now the filing is done. I'm gonna go around the cuticle area with this flat top drill bit. Now, I do not recommend using these if it's your first time, you know, doing your own nails. You really wanna have some kind of control and skills to use this drill because it is very, very sharp and you can hurt yourself. So I'm also gonna go over the top of the nail as well to remove any lumps. Now, generally, if you guys watch my old videos, I like to use my safety bit, but I couldn't find it, so I went ahead and grabbed this one, but be extremely careful with this, like y'all, seriously. Now, after I went ahead and did my cuticles, I don't know what happened to my footage, y'all, but I did go ahead and buff the surface of the nails, and I added my um, d and No Wipe Top Coat that I always use, and I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds and added my cuticle oil, and this is the results. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.